how to use an incentive spirometer. Well, you're gonna grab it. This is the indicator on how high you want the patient to go. Connect your little nozzle there, and then you should be set. And just educate your patient and get how many times you have to use it. Incorrect way to use an incentive spirometer. Patients are just gonna blow into it. No, that's not the right way. So they think, oh, it's broken, it's not working. So you educate them, teach them the right way, and have them suck in, okay. But then they do that. Then they keep going and they think they're doing good, but they're not. The indicator has to stay in between the line and that has to be one deep breath at a time. So that's uh, like little simple tips that you have to educate them as a nurse. So that's what they're gonna do and they think they reached the target. Nope, and then they get frustrated. But as your job, you have to educate them on the importance of it. Encourage them. Tell them, look, you need to do this 10 times every hour. It helps. It'll help you. After surgery, open up the atelectasis, help you breathe better, get you coughing, get all the phlegm out. That's what they need is encouragement. It's not just a little design at the desk. So they're going to do that, and then be like, I can't do it. I get frustrated. So let's show you the proper way. You get your IS, you're going to breathe everything out, and then you're going to put your lips around the mouth guard, and then you're going to inhale as much as you can, but keeping that indicator in between those little lines right there, and keep breathing in as much until you can't no more, and then cough up, and then whatever, phlegm, anything, cough it up. If you have rib injuries, it's better to hold the pillow, guard yourself, and cough. But it's optimal to get a good score. Uh, it indicates that breathing's improving, airways looking good, your atelectasis is opening up, and it helps prevent pneumonia and everything. So there's improper ways and proper ways, but encouragement is number one, and motivation is another thing, and teaching them the proper way. Because language barrier can get in the way. So there's your IS. It's pretty much simple. There's nothing to it. And just make sure your patients are really using this after post-op because it will really help them in recovery and not go down into a worse state. So comment, like, subscribe, do what you want. Our scrub is out. Peace.